Well, good morning, Sean. Hey, what's up? Cock and Watt Podcast. How's everybody doing? It's a little, uh, it's sprinkling, but it kind of feels good today. It's a nice little day. Put it on the cooler side. I put, uh, like I'm putting together some more, so there's probably like a week of like one where one was posted, and then there'll be a week where like four or five will be posted. Three, but let's get right into three, things. Four drop. Um, yeah. As we can as we start you know just i mean i don't know how to say these things this is just like rolling off my tongue but dude i get it i get what the hell's going on right now oh about with, time no, with okay. kind of like with me like i get it no, no. it took it took a bunch of grieving um doesn't mean it's great but if uh if i can save my family if this is all coming out of frustration getting dealt with by getting angry and that anger uh, has a source of hate that's wrong if the frustration that's in here can be dealt with um you know by even if it is anger but with love like love and understanding and there's an opportunity for that i should try that which is what i'm hoping to do um but things are rolling as they say the ball is rolling on uh dissolving a family and why i think that's wrong before i go into what my situation is Mm. is because it was a mistake there was a mistake made uh and this is the best i can i can form it and not to say this is excuses but this is uh my realization of the situation so i i I have to tell you that just so you can see where i'm at my Mm -hmm. point of view i deal with anger as I was molded from my childhood to deal with anger. Okay. And what that meant for me as an adult was rather than trying to understand what a person was needing, I was simply going to change my behavior so that I got what I needed. And okay. if someone said, hey, you can't do that. Okay, well, I won't do that, but I'm going to get what I need. And I, I, but I didn't do that. That was wrong. Uh, and that's just like one quick example. The, the part that I really come to terms with was dealing with love and understanding, realizing that uh, there was problems that I was just flat out going, no, they're not. Um, denial. Yeah. Denial of a problem or, or refusal to identify panic okay. because I'm frustrated myself and I don't feel my frustrations are being listened to. So then there's this big disconnect between are we listening to each other or are we um, just waiting your turn to speak? Yeah. Are we waiting for our turn to speak? And when we, when the other person does speak, uh, do we care? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm right now, like not, not just right now, but for months been realizing not only do I care, but it's all I care about. (laughs) So the pain that I feel in that sense, I have to get this. Oh, cool. Yeah. I so can pause this. Yeah. And we're back? I don't know if we've ever done that before. I yes. took a call in the middle of the Just thing. Just a quick pause. Sorry uh, about that. I, I, at least I know I can pause it and start it up. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it seems like uh, the, whole, the whole situation right now could be all based off of a mistake. And I'm not saying that that mistake doesn't need to, uh, or mistakes, or or a period of. period of time that was uh, that was clouded, or where the judgment was clouded. I'm not saying that that damage isn't there, um, and it can go both ways. But I'm saying I'm just taking ownership of my past and my, and my actions. Right? Um, okay. It's not if it truly was a mistake. If there's a, a element of love and caring. Um, then this shouldn't be happening because it is in the way that it's happening here's the realization what's going on it's it's not just a tragedy but it's it's like is the word cataclysmic it's like this is like the way that devastating it's devastating to not just two people who do care about each other because that's what i mean once once the the cloud you know went away it was like oh my god not only are you all i care about but uh whatever it was that made you feel like i didn't care about you like like the most like you there's millions what there's trillions of people on this world yeah. you are my number one person i care about you more than anybody else in this world and we have a family 
unit, which is my number one priority. The only reason yeah. to live it. Yeah. it it's, the, it's the only reason that I have to be on this earth, right? So I mean, there's a ton of sappy songs, but you know, everything yeah. I do, I do it for you. you do know? it for real. Yeah. And I was blinded, or I chose to close my eyes for a little bit, or and how I really feel is it was I was innately... Um, not maybe not late, but as, as I grew up, I realized this is how to deal with pain. You endure it, and uh, when you really need to get your way, you lash out and you aggressively try to get your way. Okay, mm. and when I realized that's a problem that I didn't, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that that I was like, uh, you know, that was who I became. This is how you respond. Yeah. Yeah, I realized. Oh my God. Um, you can't respond that way just because I was raised that way or just because that's how uh, I you know sponged how to deal with conflict doesn't mean that's how to deal with conflict that's pushing away what is most important I mean, uh, that's, to endure my frustrations yeah, Go ahead. that's kind of on my end you know where like I yell because I don't think I'm heard mm -hmm. you know so I, what I gotta get louder yeah, that's, yeah. Not, that's not a way to deal with an issue, you know. And, and but, if yeah. you and if you reflect, if you make a huge mistake while doing that, you reflect and go, "Whoa!" Like, okay, so the, I understand that there was, um, you know, that that has a response. You know, every action has a reaction. So yeah. my reactions had reactions, and here's why I'm here. But before it's like this uh, divorce. And it's not just that, like that's, that, that is maybe something that has to happen because of the damage and the reactions and over time, um, the wedge that was, that the, was built. the accumulation. It doesn't of, have yeah. to happen. I don't, I, I don't think it has to happen. Of course, I almost want to like do a 360. <laughs> um, uh, but it, th there's no telling what has to happen. The, the worst part is because of this manner, my kids won't see me. Yeah. It is more true than anything in either two different respects. One, I will not be uh, able to sustain a healthy life for myself in both physically healthy, mentally healthy, financially stable out here because I don't have any support. I came out here to make a life. That life is, is not what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. So I have to turn around and go back. Now, the catch I, yeah, I, I take no offense. I'm, I'm doing what I can to help you yeah. out, but it's not much. Yeah. I mean, but you, you shouldn't expect that out of me. And, but, you know, yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. no, for sure. Yeah. But exactly. You know, I'm trying to be a friend. You know, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Yeah, you do an amazing job. Yeah, you're an amazing saying, friend. Uh, you uh, no, so always take, have a place in my heart. So I take no offense to like, I got nothing out here. Yeah, no, I, no. I take no offense to that. Uh, yeah. I know yeah, you do. The, the <laughs> grand, no, no, no. The yeah. grand scheme of like nothing. Uh, yeah. What I mean, yeah, is, but, but hear this though. Like, yeah, I, it, it's not like, and well, I guess what I'm trying to say is yeah. you, there's no way. Uh, I mean, you tried to help me out and get to that point. Yeah. Because of the way it's going down with the pending this and the homelessness out here without assistance, right. uh, there is nothing. Um, it's all hookups. It's all like, you know, all there really is not te much temporary hookups, right? Yeah. Uh, I have to turn around and go back. Okay. Now, not only in the real scheme does that, well, if your kids are in Tennessee and you're in California, you don't get to see him after work, right? No. You don't get to pick him up after work? No. You don't get to actually be involved? No. That's the physical form of not being involved. But is that happening right now? No, no. it's not happening right now either. No. So that's why this, yeah. this is just a horrible... And again, does this actually all have to happen? Or is this like something that people did out of um, desperation yeah. and panic when when you don't know and you're just like, I got something has to change yeah. and you go to this route uh, I mean, is it just the, to realize that these people love each other or I love this, you know, like, that. or is it the balls are already rolling down the hill and you can't stop it? Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's the other a good problem, point, yeah. you know, or if you do, you'll get run over, you know, there you go. So. Um, so then, then there's the second part of that, which is what I've been struggling with for a while was knowing that, Hey, well, if I go to California, uh, over time, I could better my life. But oh my God, will my mentally like be okay? Um, and that's what people have been trying to talk me into trying to maybe get over or to accept mm. is that there's a mental aspect of you put as you, who you are, not, not who I am or not who Sean is or my parents are or anyway, but me, 
I put so much emphasis in my entire life on keeping my family together. So much uh, uh, before I even had kids did I want to be a father. Before I, I had kids did I want to keep a, a unit together through thick and thin and make sure that that unit was uh, cared for and then I lost my way. Yeah. And by losing sight of what is and always has been most important only to now realize that I've lost everything that I value is my uh, problem with mentally accepting this change. So even if it's like, hey, you know what you got to do, you got to get back on your feet, you got to go, you know, where you got to go and work where you got to work, which is what I'm, I, I thought I could do out here, realizing, uh, and not right now, not to all these cases and all this stuff yeah, is, is... A lot of hurdles. Yeah, a lot over. of hurdles that, that maybe I didn't expect. I didn't expect to have to fight so hard and against the state when the state don't have shit. They just are just angry and they just yeah. pissed off, you know? Um, and so to have to deal with that while I'm dealing with this stress of you're going to lose everything you care about um, because you got to tend to your flowers, should have tended to your flowers, you know? Yeah. And I'm sitting here like, I could water these flowers. I know how, I knew how to tend this. I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, this is ridiculous. Let me just tend these flowers and, and get back into it. Uh, no. Like you said, ball's already rolling. Yeah. If I had a million dollars, I would still probably feel the same way about the situation in that I want my family to reunite, to, to, to get back. I wouldn't be like, oh, well, now that I have money, I can just bone. No, it wouldn't be. The, it'd be the same decision uh, with or without an influx of well that of idea of family is priceless. It's pri exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. what I'm trying to say is there's no price to what I'm losing. And my mind knows that. Yeah. And it's ha and the months I've been for months uh, trying to, I guess, talk with people about how I can accept that. And I don't know if I can. I just, I, I, I'm still, it's not that I don't know what it is to need to like accept. Like, you won't see your kids. Get that through your head. Okay, I get that. No, not, yeah, I get it. There's gonna be like one of those like, you know, 50 50s 80 20s 100 percent to zero percent it's gonna be something yeah. like that right yeah yeah okay accept that that is the reason that you keep your family together is to avoid your children and your loved ones not knowing who you are having to remember who you were off of pictures and memories and stuff yeah. but not knowing like the new joke hearing a new little word from your mouth hearing how you change over time that's the pricelessness of life. Well, you don't, you know, you don't have to like the reality to understand the reality. Correct. You know. So I'm sitting here going, okay. Uh, I got the right now. I mean, you can word it the best possible job or gig right now that I can do. Horrible, <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. Half of, almost literally half of what I thought it would be, um, but it's the best I can do right now out here i found out what it was that's that i can stick with okay kind of found your limit yeah it's nowhere near the obligation set by the court yeah. nowhere near it i don't know if i get a petition that i don't know because every time i speak to my attorney it's costing me more money than i make in a month you know what i mean like yeah. it's ridiculous so i don't know my options they weren't taught to me in school obviously I was taught more about history and, and statistics and whatever than I was about how to deal with and cope with these life real issues. yeah these real issues of life um, that may or may not occur just like you know a calculus and trying to find an angle of a triangle may or may not occur right yeah. so uh, so I'm sitting in bed I don't know if it came to me in a dream or if it just came through the stress but it was like listen you have the best option you can now you can work for a better option over time mm. but you need to realize that you do have uh things that are drawing you back out here by your heart your heart's you know you, you can't leave all this behind without going probably uh hey good morning uh without probably going very uh getting distraught like i can't leave this state without feeling either like a failure or like i couldn't cope with how uh all of that i've lost and again it's almost like you're forced to abandon something you don't want to abandon. 
and that's how it seemed to and that's what i thought i thought i and I'm, I, this didn't come into a dream but yeah. the concept of well i haven't seen my daddy since i was three years old yeah. like wait you what you really think your daddy doesn't want to see you like yeah. and, and and it's like i see him on the computer every two days for the last 10 years yeah that's because of the way this went down that's what you get that's yeah. not that's not what i wanted but and it's not also what i was striving for it was and it's not also what could have happened shit, had this gone down differently if it was allotted where i could be independent independent i could be independent understanding with my loved ones that okay this union as we thought it was needs to be separated um so let's separate um, it. This, this guy um yep. so the union needs to be separated right if it has to it would be better for the kids for it to be like all right you need to get independent then you guys need to go your separate ways and that way you establish yourself out here near your kids that that yeah. place is uh, she's established by herself which is already in the works is already done and in, in, in iced over out here and now you guys raise your kids together but because this is going no how much money do you have i don't have any i would say home oh, give it all to us i said i don't have any run up your credit card yeah. oh my god why like it, it's like well now what are you gonna do well now i'm down and out what are you gonna do i have no support system out here well then get the fuck out of here get out of here yeah. abandon your kids w to save myself yeah yeah what are you gonna do die for your kids but then uh, i don't see them grow up a a yeah. either way so either way i lose that you lose lose yeah and so it's a desperation it's just a, it's like hey do you want to abandon your family to try to try to save yourself or do you want to just die and never and abandon your family yeah. Whoa. and i'm saying i would die but yeah, there's a big a difference yeah. there's a big difference between uh having a support system and having a car and no job but you're closer to your family there's a huge difference between the the variables over time you know yeah um and with what i found out here which i'm not saying i find any better in california given that it's a it's a national background check and all that stuff mm. but with how the um stipulations are out here maybe i can work for cash for friends or i can live rent free for a few years yeah you know what i mean like these kind of things are are like in this dire time all i have yeah and the, so the i've better been trying two, you know, two evils basically yeah i've been and i've been trying to co co yeah for sure yeah. i've been trying to contact um anybody who is willing to look at what's best for the family there's a lot of um apologies to be had but anything that's like hey listen what does what, what's the best for these girls over time and how can we work that out right now so that it's uh that that that's what we work towards and i i i'm not saying i'm not going to get a lot of fuck you i hope you die yeah like, like i hope you die in the streets what's best for these kids is that they don't have a father in this world anymore you're a fucking piece of shit that might be like the realization I that mean, people i I've, I've done so many hurtful things that people go no you you're a, you're a, there's so many humans what the fuck are you worth yeah. and i'm sitting there banking on the i'm these kids father like it this, should mean something it, it, yeah. i mean it, maybe it doesn't maybe it doesn't mean yeah the kids piece of shit father like yeah. no but that's the thing everyone knows that i was I, like that's that's why this is so hard for and and feels so bad maybe because everyone knows or should know yeah. that i put everything into those kids uh and so to have it be like ha ha you lose what you love when you don't fucking pay attention it's like i, I am paying attention why eyes are w wide open yeah. this could be salvaged that's why how wide my eyes open I'm, I'm not only do i pay attention but i understand what can mend this is it fearful would there be a lot of hesitation because of like trust you know, yeah so yeah. yeah trust and so yes that would be hard to do it would be hard but if there is that love if that if there is still love uh do you want to do another one yeah, might as well. okay if there's you still gotta have a foundation that yeah. love if it can be rebuilt this is the time to really figure out if it can be built 
And just because there's a bunch of money being shoved into this for, for it to be dissolved, mm -hmm. doesn't mean that, that that's a reason to make sure it's dissolved. It really isn't. It's not like, hey, I spent, you know, $20,000. Uh, okay, but you're losing priceless priceless things getting bad analogy but like trying to fix a car that just keeps breaking down mm -hmm. i mean at some point you're just be like i'm done putting money into this and you that's the, that, let, that, let's that. accept the car you know uh, accept the car yeah or let it sit in the garage right yeah. but i'm trying to fix it like like all i had or i guess the I money I, yeah. I think that was the where money. i was going yeah. like you can't just keep dumping money into a problem you can't you keep dumping money yeah, yeah. Oh I, oh, I understand. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so what? I, and uh, that was a bad analogy. It was horrible. <laughs> it was a lot. That's horrible. <laughs> Did you want to fix the car? No, I, it's yeah. the car. Yeah, it was like I, I know, this I know. car is my life, and you know, like this yeah. car is everything to me. This isn't just a a nice little shiny object. This, I I wake up for yeah. this car. I breathe for this car. If it breaks down, I would spend every cent to fix it. But I would also learn how to fix this car myself. I got you. I would watch YouTube. I would, this car would be in pristine shape. Just because I let it sit in the garage for a little bit and it got a little messed up, doesn't mean, and you know, I, I don't care about this thing uh, to, to the nth degree, right? Yeah. So, uh, Again, my analogy was horrible. So. Yeah, no, I get you. <laughs> uh, I, I understood. Like how, I understood how to take it enough to make to make sure you you know yeah. like to switch it up. Salvage. Um, so. <laughs> That that's what I'm realizing. The yeah. harsh part about what I have going on right now, as I uh, almost, you know, I, I have one job that's half of what I'm supposed to be doing. So I got to go get another job, right? Mm. Then I try to go to that other job, which is like, hey, this sounds like a better gig. Yeah, but it conflicts with the first job. And uh, then you have that dilemma of, do I give something like a burden? The hand is worth two in the bush. That's essentially what I was faced with yesterday. Was yeah. hey, here's what you got. Now you could get something better, a little riskier. You don't know if it's gonna last because you've had jobs that like yeah. you start right away and uh, you know, as the paperwork starts getting completed, it's all of a sudden, here's your pink slip, right? Oh, I'm familiar with the, uh, the dilemma of making a choice, you know, yeah. what's better, what is better. What is better. So, I ha so I'm not sure still to the, like, as we walk, I'm still like, like, what am I gonna do uh, with this? That's pretty cool. Uh, what am I gonna do with this choice? I think I need to stay the course with what I've got and still look for better. Yeah. Um, but I can't give up what I've got in the in, w because I have potentially a, an, uh, yeah, a an better option. prospect. Yeah, yeah an yeah. option when it's not like finite, you know? So uh, I, need to, I need to stay the course. Um, the sucky part about that is Neither one of the courses that uh, all these options or none of the stuff that's coming is sufficient. It's still under the obligation set by the court. It's not even good enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I don't know if both of them would be uh, fulfill the obligation combined. So yeah. it's still, and that's the reality was uh, that I kind of faced last night at 2 a.m. was like, holy shit, there's no way to get out from this unless if the way that it's being conducted right now. Yeah. changes unless the, the lucky break I catch is okay let's work on this family because then at that point I have that place to be I have that meaning back and work at any cost for any pay for, at any location in the area uh, is more manageable because I know that it's working for even if the union doesn't work out it's still going towards yeah. at some point I need to be independent so let me build to that then do this but because it's do this and be fighting against the state and be fighting against the way the systems worked out with background checks and fight against all this stuff it, again it's it's an I, I was writing letters yeah. um it's a unrealistic expectation that has lit a fuse in me that just cat him out to a, a death sentence yeah. because no. to me it, it to lose what i'm losing by not being able to meet these obligations is equal to just being dead yeah now i've danced around this and i've okay. also been incredibly blunt you know i've approached this several different ways to you and i think Go. you have to agree that the anticipation of of all of these factors that you just that are so still up in the air uh -huh. is just creating this massive anxiety in you yeah and you are looking at again you're st strategic you're a game player you understand the ins and outs and you know how every piece moves 
and you're like, but if I move this piece, this piece will move, and then this piece will move, and then this piece. Will... You're you're trying to be ten steps ahead when you don't know what the opponent's going to do on their next move. I can see that analogy. You know, you have to you have to get these answers, man. You have to get these. So because it's just creating this this endless, and I'm not like complaining about you. Yeah. It's, just, it's creating this endless loop of you like what ifs, what ifs, what ifs, what ifs, what ifs, what. Ifs. Yeah. And it's and it's almost making you sound hyper. You sound like, I don't know what to do if this happens, but if this happens, I'll do this. And then if this happens, I'll do this. And then what if, what if, what if? Uh -huh. And it just, and it makes you, I, I don't want to label. Like, it seems like you're getting manic over the uncertainty of it. And it's not fair. It puts you in this position of like, I got to think of every possible move. That's what I think yeah. this did though. And I, it, I honestly like, not, not, I'll, yeah. I'm going to say two things, then you keep going. One is, yeah. um, I am trying to prevent checkmate. Okay. Of course. If this is chess, yeah. I'm trying to prevent checkmate. Checkmate being a situation I seriously can't handle financially, emotionally, uh, uh, physically, whatever it is. I just can't handle this anymore. I cash out. I'm useless to society. That's my yeah. checkmate that I'm trying to prevent. Two is uh, because of all these variables that are going on, like this and this and this, uh, it, it seems like I can't fight against all these. It, it would be like I'm playing chess. And I have my pieces, but I'm playing against three other opponents who have all their pieces. Yeah. So there is no way to win that check. That, you know, like, I'm like, this is going to be impossible. This is near impossible for me to win. And I see it. So I'm not sure what to do. Yeah. Um, it's not that I don't, like, keep going, actually. But it's well, not it that almost, I don't want to try. It almost makes, like, and don't, don't like, uh, I'm not trying to be a dick. It makes you, it, it uh, hinders your uh, uh, mind to make a decision. Yeah. It's almost the, the uh, illusion of choice. I have too many choices, so I can't even make one. Because the one I make is going to be finite. As soon as I yeah. make it that choice, that's the choice. It's that a cascade of what's yeah. going to happen. It's like if I make move A, we're going to get to Z. Mm. Yeah, everything's going to fall in place if I do something. So it's, it's almost paralyzing. That's the word I was looking paralyzing. for. Paralyzing. It's a paralyzing like anxiety. That's, that's yeah. a good way to describe it. I, I also believe that the... Uh, the things that have been imposed on me yeah. as expectations I can meet by them not being obtainable in reality. Whether, yeah, re, 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 yeah. So, the, so let's say the court says you can make this much and you can work this much and you should be away for this long until we figure things out with that evaluation. And I go, in reality, that's a dark so cycle where I can't get the what you needed to be successful. So that's not a reality. You guys are imposing yeah. something that's not obtainable in reality. You guys are just saying, on paper it sounds good, let's put it on there. In reality, that's not unattainable. Ah, you're not working hard enough. No, I am working really hard. Yeah. Work harder. Absolutely, just give me something to value to work harder. No, we took that away too. All right, so I, yeah. I can't get what I'm supposed to get, but I, I will try harder if I have something to value. But you've taken away the thing I have to value. So now I don't have the motivation to try to get anything. We cycle, are, cycle, cycle. We are literally at the confluence of three industrial strength lawnmowers yeah, mowing it, this freaking park. On a Tuesday. What day do we rain. know that it doesn't, they are not mowing right down our backs? I think they're all, I think they're all, uh, it's a conspiracy. <laughs> That's a good one. It's a conspiracy. I, said, I think they're all just bored and, and want to go by the people who they see walking. But Literally yeah, at the same time, three FBI agents mowers. with higher powered microphones. No. Um, oh now they're, my they're, goodness. They're, yeah. and, then, and then they all disappear. Oh, they're onto us. Listen. Cheese at the fence. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm sorry. Yeah, That's like, that funny. always turns into a cut and, into our conversation. Hey, well, let it, yeah. I know. Because it, it starts like talking normal and then it's, and then I said to her, help me God. <laughs> like, yeah. And again, I don't know. Hey, if you're listening, you find that funny, right? Do you uh, find that funny? That that's probably why you listen. Let's let's hear what goes wrong this part. The next time we start one, will there be a lawnmower? Yes or no? Uh, the answer is yes. And because I don't have, because uh, uh, things pick up in life, yeah. the quality, the the listen to uh, playthrough yeah. uh, is more sped up. Like I speed them up, and that yeah. I can't really determine. Uh, perfect like oh that shouldn't have been said or oh that's horrible sounding i'm just like yeah i can't you, it's just you like, get it all you get it all you get you get yeah. the whole thing you'll you'll get a pause when the phone rang then the unpause and then everything else that came between that but yeah very uh, yeah, we don't have a producer right we don't have we do not have a producer yeah just uh joking we don't have anything do we have a phone with that that's <laughs> on record 
Uh, uh, because. Yeah. <laughs> go podcast yourself, right? Go podcast, and that's a podcast. That itself. is, that is one, yeah. yeah. Now what we have is a, a hope that and to network, um, and I've been trying to contact people about that. It kind of dropped the ball on the idea. I mean, we can pick it back up. It, it's not like there's a timetable or anything, so. No, it's, it's, yeah. a, it's a group of, yeah, it's a work in progress, really. Even though yeah. we're on numerous episodes, it's still a work in progress. Um, I wonder if these guys just oh, my. like mow like 25% a day and then do it over four days. Uh, it keeps them employed, probably. <laughs> right? They're probably union. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> how do you get on that gig, you know? Oh, so, realization of bullshit, right? Um, yeah, I gotta take what I can get, like you, you're saying, and yeah. I understand that. The problem with that is, as time goes by, builds that up, you slip into more, and at what point do I actually get out? Because yeah. I, I, if I really can't use my education, if that's really dead in the water, or if it's, uh, or if I'm not rich enough to actually uh, defend against myself so that I have to forfeit out of being poor my education, that's a fucking crazy All system right. we live in, right? Listen, buddy. What? What if? What if? What oh, if? yeah, yeah, what yeah. If, right? I, I'm, not, I'm not getting on your... I, I love you. Right? But it, man, it's just this unknowing that has to be driving you nuts. But you can type into Google, can you teach in... Uh, this state with the misdemeanor and you'll get an answer. So it's like yeah. and then and then so you take that and go All right, you can't teach with the misdemeanor. Okay, cool. Uh, what happens if uh, I don't get a felony you get a misdemeanor Okay, so it, I guess the deductive reasoning that's yeah. why I'm saying like deductive reasoning suggests that if I can't afford this situation yeah. Then I'm gonna be stuck in a situation where I, I can't use my my degree and I, I get what you're saying like but what if what if what what if I, I buy a lottery ticket you know that, that that's not outside the realm of possibilities yeah. um but I, I hear you I I, I overthink no, a lot of things I, no I, I you know, it's not you I think it's the situation you're in you need these I said it you need these answers you need arbitration you yeah. need uh, a resolution of your your uh charge you need um employment uh, <laughs> um, yeah. a decent employment livable yeah. employment that's yeah. the uh, i think if i had that oh your psyche valve you need yeah. that, oh, yeah, that yeah, those the, three the, those the, three big things right there dude my psyche valve yeah. to touch on that real quick yeah. and i don't care if it, it, whatever it is, is so i go in there yeah. i do everything the guy says he gives me some papers and says i need some contact numbers for people who've seen you interact with your kids okay cool give it to him yeah. months go by and I'm like, what is up with you not contacting these people? Well, you know, if you want to help me with the legwork of that and get them to um, book an appointment with my office, that would go by faster. Oh my. Guy. My I, life I is in my, your I haven't seen my kids. As I don't see my kids, there's a, 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 a graph where depression and anxiety go up by just not being around my kids. I came in here because yeah. I didn't want that. And you're sitting here going, I just got better shit to, I don't know man, I got better I'm, shit to do. I'm looking for I'm Pepe Sylvia. I got boxes full of Pepe. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, Carol, like get on the ball of this. I like, we got around to it. Yeah, you're not important. Like, did you slide me some money? Yeah, well, yeah, I did. I slid you thousands. Why won't you get this done? Yeah. What is the, and that's the thing. Like I, I asked them point blank, like, or I guess do an email, like yeah. what? is the sequence of events and time expectation for something like this because I feel like not knowing the process that I'm going through is sparking uh, confusion. Yeah. And his answer was essentially, well, can you do a little more work by like getting these people do, to call me? Do my job for me because I'm too lazy. And the people that, I, that, that, are, that I've written on this, because I was told yeah. I, I need to get... Um, as close to unbiased opinions as possible. Gotcha. They're acquaintances. They're not like, hey, mom. Your mom, hey, dad. Mom, hey, yeah. can, you, can you call and, and defend me? Like, like. So you're gonna call the lady that saw you at the YMCA with your kids? Yes. Yeah. Hey, so I had to find out how to contact this lady who over uh, well over a year has witnessed me with my kids and how I am, but who in between us have never been like, let's go get coffee ever. Because hey, I'm Julie, married. How are you doing I'm, today? Yeah, like yeah, I'm married and I got three kids and I'm only here for one purpose. It'd be like, it'd be like essentially calling your kid's parent or a teacher, calling one yeah. of your kid's teacher and being like, 
hey, I need you to do me a, a real big favor and talk about, you know, yeah. how, you're know, like, what, what, why would I, like, I don't know you from Adam, right? Exactly. Like, like I only know what the interactions that I've seen, and that's what I pinned, that's what I was asked for. It's People like, have seen this type of interaction. Yeah. yeah. I it's like it. call your dentist that you see twice a year, you know? Yeah. It's like, hey, uh, vote And when for I talk me. to you, I, I, I'm pretty rational, right? Yeah, yeah. When, when I see you, like, yeah. okay. So those were the unbiased ones. I don't have a support system out here. I don't have a whole bunch of people who day in and day out saw me um, interacting with my kids because they were in my house. I was a stay-at-home person. When I took them out, I took them usually to the I'd walk. I'd be hard-pressed. Uh, yeah, and my kids are 15. <laughs> yeah, 16 almost. So I don't get what the hell yeah. this guy's thinking by saying, can you do a bunch more leg work? Uh, especially, especially when the evaluation is to determine any kind of diagnosis. So if you, like, like again, let's run through the what is, right? What if, like, what if you're talking about a schizophrenic person who's fucking suicidal tendencies and uh, a, a drug addict? And you're like, hey, can you get those people to contact me? I'm on a bender. <laughs> like, 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 I'm on fire. I'm fucking flying, dude. Oh, 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 like, uh, I just doing what you told me to do. Uh, yeah. you're like, what if you put people down that you, you know, you honestly had no idea what they'd say? It's I like, don't. Hey, yeah, I, you know, you might say, eh, he just dropped him off and left. He seemed like a jerk. Oh yeah. 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 So let me let me get on that. Let me get them to call in and tell you how, you know. I fulfilled the request uh, as best as I could. And apparently, because I didn't organize his his schedule, yeah. it just it's not going to happen. And well, I'm here's like, here's the other thing, right? This is for custody of my children. You fuck. Well, here's the other thing. I meant play playing the other side of the card, right? Then you better get on it. I get, if yeah. If that's what matters, then you better do it. Well, then, uh, then I'm gonna have my dad call in. I'll have yeah, my brother yeah. call in and be like, hey, I had everyone who who was uh, who cared enough to call in called in. Yeah. So you got you got the the people that the quote unquote biased opinions. You, yeah, you got the people. That's that, as much as I can. Get you said for you yet. didn't want biased people, but then you said you wanted me to contact these people and set up your schedule with your office. Uh, the only people who cared seemed to be the people that replied to that type of request. So now this is what you get. This is what you got. Is that enough? And then I, again, then that's going to bounce back maybe, uh, but I'll just foreshadow it now. Yeah. I kind of need more information. Uh -huh. I need more information. Call more people. You get your detective hat out, yeah. then, dude. But yeah, yeah that's what do that was. Do your fucking job. Do, yeah, right. Yeah. Like again, I went into debt for you. I went into debt for this. I, I, what do you want from me? Like, yeah. and so it is a very stressful situation. I. Well, it feels like again, I'm bad with analogies, but you go to the grocery store, and here you go to the checkout, and you, you scan your own items, and then yeah. you pay for it, and then you walk out. It's like, where's the employee here? What? Where's the? <laughs> Who, who's running this fucking circus, dude? Yeah. Who's running this circus? And that's exactly what it feels like. Bill Burr has a huge uh, joke. I find it. It's funny. It's funny? Yeah, the, the uh, checkout. Like, I don't fucking work here. Where's uh -huh. my schedule? <laughs> Where's my schedule? Yeah. I, I'll be back I, I, on Friday for my paycheck. <laughs> every yeah. time I uh, hear a snippet from him, it, it does sound funny. I, I haven't, I've seen like, not a yeah. stand-up special or anything yeah. like that, but I've, I've heard little clips here and clips there. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Any, any advice to get through these kind of uncertainty times for me? For, for, end from on? me? Yeah. Dude, just, you know, handle what you can handle. Take care of what's in front of you. Okay. I mean, try to limit your what ifs to two or three. Okay. I mean, I'm not trying to be a jerk, you know? Instead like, of a million? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, what can you control, right? If you can't control something, it becomes a what if that you just have to bury. Okay. I can't control that. But it's what been if... suggested that I'm going through a spiritual yeah. awakening. What do you think about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Religion, spirit. spirit that you the know, energies, soul, yeah, love. the energies are, are. That's not my wheelhouse, so okay. I can't. Uh, I can't comment without sounding cynical, so I won't comment. <laughs> yeah. Spiritual awakening. Yeah. How does your spirit feel, huh? Yeah. I, I get, I get, it's hanging there from a noose. Just <laughs> like you've been crushed and ran over probably, right? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. But I think uh, what I'm going to do today to ensure that the wheel stops necessarily spinning in my head and the, the motivation comes is just take the day as it comes. Go into work. Go edit the podcasts go do these kind of things knowing that there's need to be more like it yeah. which is really crappy because that's one of the things that I, I feel is super 
imposed um, that no one knows about. Society yeah. is built to make sure you don't stop working. Oh, yeah. Right? Like, you gotta keep going. Like, but even when someone's holding you down, you can either die or you can get up and go to work. Work really hard. Work really hard. Like, I am. Work till you fatigue and fucking pass out of the yeah. fucking office. We don't give a fuck about you. You gotta work harder. Jesus Christ. Capitalism, buddy. Yeah. It's being yeah. imposed like a motherfucker. Yup. Who's gonna pay for that car? I guess me? Oh, then how are you gonna do it? I guess fight through the depression? Exactly. Or what? Pass out? <laughs> or not have a car. Yeah. yeah. So it's... it's so that's that's the that's the truth of the matter, dude. You gotta, yeah. I guess that's it. You can always run your uh, gears in your head about theories and what ifs, but you also have to deal with the absolutes that are in front of you, the the bills, the living situation, and and sometimes your mental health. Like what what's it doing? Get who do you need to see this and that? So well said. You got to deal with what you can. Deal with it. What's in front of you? Go ahead. Go ahead and do the sign off. Oh, yeah, because we just climbed that damn hill. Yeah, I'm huffing and puffing. All right, yeah, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Thanks. Thanks for listening. Cock a Lock Podcast. Check us out. Have Contact us. Bye. Hey, this is Brendan from Cock of the Walk Podcast. If you like what you heard, you can support us just by sharing the link. That's the most important thing is to get the word out. If you want to go beyond that, you can do donations. You can become a member and subscribe, or you can even buy some merch. You can find us at www.halfmoonday.com. We are a Half Moon Day LLC production. Uh, you can also reach us directly with comments, questions, or topics you want us to discuss at cock of the walk podcast at gmail.com or cock of the walk podcast at aol.com we also have a facebook and you can find us on youtube under the half moon day page on behalf of myself and sean thank you very much for tuning in we know there's a lot of podcasts out there and we appreciate your time have a good day